happened? Was it a 1. Traffic accident 2. Glass breakage 3. Theft or burglary 4. Damage caused by natural event 5. Another incident 1. Traffic accident The motivation for this research was really phenomenon driven. So you see that voice technology is incredibly present everywhere, not just the dedicated devices that you know. For example, if people have a dedicated device like an Amazon Alexa or a Google Home, you use it on your smartphone, you might have a voice um, assistant and voice technology uh, built in into other devices like a sound bar or a smart TV and so on and so forth. But with more use, we also see much more user frustration. So and that was then the starting point to ask ourselves, how can we design better and ultimately more fulfilling and enriching uh, conversations using voice technology? To make it successful, we need to understand how the interaction logic works, what type of communication patterns do we apply, and how many turns, for instance, in conversations do we allow to make this a joyful, successful interaction. The concept of flow can be described as a pretty positive experience which is characterized by a person which has his full attention on a specific action. In a way, that this per we can say that this person is absorbed in this action. First, we show that voice is a more richer medium than text. It allows to use a variety of cues that are not available in text-based communication, for instance, like pauses, and that creates a much more intuitive um, interaction experience for the user. Second, voice is a more synchronous uh, media channel. It's more immediate, it's a back and forth. And that both increases interactivity and hence leads to more flow in the interaction with a machine. Third, it allows to use the system in a hands-free manner, which is a much more natural interaction context than actually using a text-based system. We can show that the more difficult the language is that the interface employs, that this reduces flow in voice-based interfaces. You can not reread a message like in a text-based interface, but rather you have to follow the interface at its chosen pace. The more you increase the conversational turns in a voice-based interface, that this also reduces flow because it creates a sort of disjointness between those messages and the increasing number of turns disrupts the flow. And finally, I think that's something that we also learned in this research. Um, uh, voice technology is incredibly inclusive. So we often think, well, uh, what is the average user of the technology? But we also should think about um, the people that would benefit from voice technology because they can't read, for example, or they have difficulties reading. So think about the older population, for instance. So one of the things that we also saw was that particularly older people uh, were extremely comfortable using voice technology. So think about the task, think about the user, and also think about how can you make a contribution to a better society.